Resident Evil 8 Village is an upcoming first-person shooter survival horror game that is being developed and published by Capcom. The game was announced earlier this year and is scheduled for release sometime in 2021 for the next generation consoles and PC. More recently, Capcom had an internal leak which revealed additional details about the game. This includes more information on the release date, platforms, and a demo. As always, all the sources will be linked in the description below, but it is going to be slightly different this time just with the nature of leaks and internal documents, and that will be the first story I cover after this. So I'll cover as much as I can while still being respective to Capcom and respecting that this is a major leak for the company. And with that out of the way, let's get into everything we know about the internal Capcom leak for Resident Evil 8 Village. Okay, so I want to start by giving some details on how this leak happened. On November 2nd, 2020, the Capcom group had issues with their computer systems internally, and Capcom did confirm this was due to unauthorized access of their systems by a third-party source. Capcom said that none of their customer information was breached, and it did not affect any of the company's online games or access to various websites, but that does mean that they got things from the company themselves instead of the consumer. The team has said they have contacted the authorities and are working on restoring their systems. And so because of this, I'm going to be very limited in what I show of these internal documents. It's going to not probably be as much as people want, so if you want to go out there and find them yourself, I'm sure you can. So let's start with the platforms. As I said originally, the game was only announced for next generation consoles initially, which would be the PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC. But with this insider information, we now know that is not the whole story. In the internal leak, the team stated that the PS4 version is in development, but has just not been announced yet. They don't give any more details about it, but it seems like it will be released the same date as the other versions, and it looks like an Xbox One version is being worked on as well, so this will be between last gen and current gen consoles. As for the release date, the internal document states that Resident Evil 8 Village will launch sometime in April of 2021, further and says late April 2021, so probably the third, if not the fourth week of the month. Which is actually right around the corner and we don't have too much longer to wait for the final release. In the leaked document, the team states they still are waiting to confirm the wording of the release date, but with anything internal and these leaks, it is possible that these are subject to changes and development issues. So it says April now, but this could always change, but just at this point, that's what they're claiming. Next, let's talk about some of the pre-order bonuses and what we know about the pre-orders of the game. The game is set to open pre-orders in January of 2021. It will include pre-order bonuses as well. The first being a weapon accessory will be given to players called Mr. Raccoon, which is described as an accessory for early shotguns in the game, along with a survival resource pack. Now, if the game is pre-ordered on the PlayStation Store, players might receive the game's soundtrack, but Capcom says that is still being discussed. And if they can't get players the soundtrack, PlayStation 4 players will receive an exclusive theme, and they haven't decided on a backup for PlayStation 5 players. They also state that if you pre-order the game on Steam, players will receive an exclusive wallpaper. Now, when this game is open to pre-orders, there will be a few different versions of the game that will be released. So, as always, there will be a normal version, which is said to have a price point of $60, which would be very cool considering next generation they have discussed raising the prices of games, so $60, it seems like they might keep it consistent with last gen. They also state this will be the price for disc or digital versions of the game. The second option is a digital deluxe edition. This will include the base game, an extra DLC pack, which we will touch on a little bit later under the DLC chapter of this video. So you get the game itself, the DLC pack for $80. So $20 more than the original, and it's cheaper than if you bought the DLC and game separately. And the final option, is the collector's edition. This will include the game itself, a statue of one of the characters, a chest that it will be delivered in, and other goods which are not specified. And this version will cost $230 in the United States. They also state they will have some other regional exclusive versions, 
and online Capcom stuff, so we aren't going to really touch on those, but they are out there. Another big piece of info is that there will be a demo version of the game that will be released before the game is launched. The demo will launch three weeks before the launch of Village, so most likely either early April or late March is when the first week of this demo will be released for players. Now for the first week they say the demo will be limited to just a village area and will only be accessible for PS4 and PS5 players. For the second week, the demo will now be limited to a castle area and will once again only be for the PS4 and PS5 players. Then one week before the initial release or the third week of demo, it will be released for the village and castle areas and for all platforms. So it looks like Sony must have had some sort of deal where they get some exclusive goodies for their Sony players. Now, one of the last pieces of information we have to talk about is this extra DLC pack, which is actually called Ethan's Trauma Pack, which if purchased separately will cost $25, which is why I said if you purchase this and the game, it will be $85, so if you plan on purchasing it, you might as well get the Deluxe Edition. Now, this pack will include an exclusive Albert 01 Chris custom weapon, a found footage screen filter, a weapon accessory called Mr. Everywhere for the initial handgun in game, along with the very hard difficulty unlocked at launch. It will also have Resident Evil 7 save points and save room, and the Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition soundtrack. The team states that this is subject to change and the soundtrack might not get approved, so they might instead give players a digital art book. Now, the description for Ethan's trauma pack says, quote, Three years later, even now that he's returned to a peaceful life, Ethan's nightmare isn't over. The events he experienced at the Baker Mansion were so extraordinary that it leaves an inextinguishable scar in the back of his mind. Visions of the past follow him everywhere, even in this case. Ethan has made a break with his abominable past, and can you build a new future with your family? And the very last thing I need to touch on is the information called Project Highway or Village Online. It is said to be a new multiplayer Resident Evil side game or project, and it looks like it might also be a Resident Evil Battle Royale. Now this will be separate from Resident Evil Village, but it looks like it will be released around the same time as Resident Evil 8. It could be similar to what Capcom did with Resident Evil Resistance and the Resident Evil 3 remake, which were released around the same time and gave fans new experiences to play around with if they wanted an online mode or just a traditional story. So we don't know anything else about that, but it should be exciting if you're into that and want more of the Resident Evil world. And for the most part, that is everything we learned about the Resident Evil 8 Village Capcom leak. I don't think anything is too surprising. It will be nice that Capcom is releasing on last generation consoles and are finalizing a demo for the project. An April release is really right around the corner, so we don't have to wait too much longer to see more of the game. That's where I'm going to end this video. Make sure to like and share, subscribe for weekly gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one.